I'm not sure if you can see me. I'm doing this in the new um, Facebook Creator Studio, so who knows if you're even seeing me. Um, I've got the, the wheel of death going on on the left-hand side, but it's telling me, oh, I'm live. Here I go. Woo! Hey, I'm creating a live in the new Creator Studio on Facebook, so it's all a little bit different. I don't even know if you can see me or hear me properly. I certainly can't see your comments. Um, so it's all a little bit weird. I don't even know where the comments would go. Oh my God. Oh, it looks like I can comment on my own. I'm going to put a comment and see what goes on. If you're there, can you put um, put a comment so that I can see who you are and, and where they're going to turn up? I want to talk about busting the bullshit rules. I don't even know which of my social media platforms I'm actually on. Um, I'm on one of them, right? But this message wants to come out, so let's talk about it. Um, let me just type a comment so I can see where they come up. Rules are bullshit. Who else thinks the rules are bullshit? Who made up the damn business rules? Who said, hey, Andre? Oh, that's great. You can hear me. Um, oh, I heard that you had a great time today. Can't wait to hear about that. Um, the rules are bullshit. Like, who made up the business rules? Who said that a business had to be a certain type of way? Who said that accountants had to do things this way and the mechanics have to do things that way and electricians have to do it another way? Like, who actually makes up what it looks like? Who determines the hours that you work? Who determines the clients that you choose to work with? Who determines the price that you get to set? Like, why are there rules around this and why are we obeying them? And what are the rules actually doing to us? Like, I personally think that the rules are holding us back and they're stopping us from being who we really are. So I'm actually getting on here to celebrate because I've just had someone join a program that I've been called to offer and it's at a stupid, ridiculous low price. I don't even know why I'm doing it, but hey, that's that's what I've been called to do. And it's about aligning your soul to your passion in life and actually aligning your business because if your business isn't aligned to what's really in your heart and what you really want to be doing in the world you're never gonna be happy you know when you look at people and i'm like why are they so insanely happy like are, are they drinking all day <laughs> what's going on no they're tapped into their soul and you can tap into your soul as well it doesn't matter what business you're in your business can actually work for you and help you deliver your soul's purpose you would be surprised what is inside you that wants to come out there really is a soul's purpose in you and i and i know it's there and i know that you know it's there too because sometimes when you tap into it you're like wow that feels freaking awesome right like sometimes it just feels so damn good um and that's when you know that you're in flow. But what happens when you're not in flow? Like you get up and you're like, oh my God, another day. Don't make me get up. I don't want to get out of bed. It's nice and warm in here. Or, oh God, I've got such and such client now. Or, oh God, I've got to go and do that job. I hate doing that particular thing. It doesn't have to suck the fucking life out of you. I mean, who wants to do things all day long that are not fun and juicy for them? And honestly, that is the secret key to business success is having fun. And you only have fun when you're actually connected to your soul's purpose. So I know I'm a business coach that talks about that talks about soul alignment and affirmations and all the other things that you wouldn't expect a business coach to talk about. But that's because that is what actually works. So coaching um, a DJ today and lo and behold, you know, he does affirmations and meditation and how awesome is that? You know, like you just can't, you know. You're looking at everyone else and thinking, oh, they don't do that, or I'm the only person doing this, but we're all the same. You know, we all want to be connected to soul. We all want to be in the really good place. And in order to be in the good place, you really have to get used to tapping into yourself. Because if you're obeying all the rules from the outside, then you're not actually being true to who you really are on the inside. Does that make sense? I'm not sure that it does. <laughs> but basically what I'm trying to tell you is that just push all the rules off the table. You get to make your life. You get to make your business be how it wants to be. And this course that I've created, it's called Cracking the Code on Business Alignment. And it really is about what is in your soul and then making your business fit that, not the other way around. Because that's how we all do it, right? Like a really good friend to me recently said something about, um, you know, figuring out what you want to do in life and then fitting your business around that. And that is what I've done. But it reminded me even more, like, the business needs to fit what I want because in order for me to show up in my business well and serve my clients well and therefore make money and, and do all the things that I want to do, I have to actually 
feel good. And if I don't feel good, then it's just not going to fly, right? So the secret to business success is actually being happy. And I was talking to someone today, um, we actually did a, a marketing review for them. They asked me what else they could add, you know, to attract more clients. Honestly, there was bugger all that they could add to attract new clients. What they needed to do was dip down into soul and figure out what is the big vision and what do they actually believe and then what are the steps to get there. So we kind of start things topsy-turvy and then we end up with a business. We just kind of wake up one day and we're like, oh, I don't actually really like this. <laughs> Who's done that? I mean, I've done it several times, right? And I'm sure that my business will change over the next five years as well. And I just, I don't want to be tied in to anything. I don't want to, you know, I don't want the things that I do to have to be a certain way anymore. There, there are no rules in my life anymore. I mean, clearly, I'm not going to go and break all the, the actual laws, right? Like speeding or drink driving or anything like that. But I'm talking about society rules. Like who says that the mum has to stay at home? Who says that you have to be a certain type of personality to be an accountant? Who says, you know, like, who makes those rules? Like, it's just not true. I don't want any glass ceilings for anyone because you can bust through absolutely any bullshit and get out the other side. And oftentimes, this is how we create a business. So we go, okay, so I've got this thing that I think will make money. I do some market research. Yep, I sure can make some money out of it. Then we come up with a clever name and we deliberate over that for months. And then we come up with a really pretty logo and the branding and then we market it. And then crickets. Nothing comes. And we're like, oh, but, but I researched it and there's a target market and I've got a pretty logo and I've done the marketing. <laughs> but crickets, right? And we're like, we're determined. Well, oh my God, I'm spend this money, I know it's going to work, I'm going to do it, so we hustle, we hustle and we grind and we push ourselves into the ground with all this doing, 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 right, you know, do the damn thing, and I say do the damn thing as well, but do the damned aligned thing, hey <laughs> Pamela, you're a rock star sister too, my darling, um, you know, don't do the damn thing if it's not soul aligned, don't do the damn thing just for the sake of doing the damn thing, if you got to do something and you're like, I'm just doing this because someone said so, don't freaking do it, you're an adult, you're in charge of your own life, you're in charge of your own business, don't do the stuff that is not fun, now I'm not talking about dipping out on yourself, I'm not talking about knowing that you have to do something to push your business forward, but you're like, I just don't want to, <laughs> I'm not talking about that at all, I'm talking about if you feel deep in your soul, you know, someone's told you to do something, but it just doesn't feel aligned for you, then don't do it, but equally don't dip out on yourself either, and well, I was going to say, you'll know when it's right, but not everyone does know. And that's what I realized when I when I actually sat down and thought about my clients that are absolutely nailing it. I mean, I've got a client today that I'm just so happy. She's she's moving from one-on-one -on -one to, to, um, to one-to-many, and it's just awesome. You know, she was so worried about doing it, and now everyone just wants to jump on and do it. And it's just it's awesome, you know, just going to get freedom in her life and offer better service because she's going to feel better. She's going to have time for family and time for fun and, and more money as well. So it's just better and better. And when you have more money and when you have more space in your life, you meet a better person, a better mum, a better wife. You can give to charity. You can go and work at a charity. You can just do better. So why wouldn't you want to? And when you're a better person, you're also serving your clients in a much better way. I know for me, I do far better coaching when I'm feeling amazing it's not very often that I'm not but if I really felt not really good I would do something to get myself feeling good pretty damn quick smart because I would never turn up to a coaching call not feeling good because it would be a waste of that person's money to to come and coach with someone who doesn't really feel like doing it that'd be shit right so yeah really the secret to business success is doing something you love and and doing it well but to do it well you also need to feel well Anyway, back to the story about the hustle and the grind and you really, really do it. So you chuck some money at some experts and you pay for some Facebook ads and get a business coach and you do all this stuff and you're like, yeah, 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 you know, do do the damn things. And then eventually you get some results and you're like, yep, I knew it would work. But then once all that fear gone and once the hustle's gone, you're like, yeah, I am actually making some money. Oftentimes, and this is my experience with the people that I coach, oftentimes they sit back and they're like, yeah, but it just doesn't feel like I thought it would feel. It's like, yeah, because you did what you thought would make you money instead of what your soul actually wants to do. If you want to make more money, do what your soul wants you to do. And if your soul wants you to make plastic weave mats, then that's where you're going to make your money. I promise. It doesn't matter what your soul wants you to do. 
that is where you're going to make the money. Just don't think about the how, you know. The universe wants to deliver to you. It really does. But you just don't need to sit there and think, how, you know, how am I going to get this money? Give me a little hands up in the comments if you're like, oh my God, where's my next dollar coming from? How am I going to make that sale? How am I going to meet my target? How can I hustle a bit harder? <laughs> We've all been there. I wonder if I can stick my own hand up in my own comments. <laughs> um, but really, it's not the way to success. The striving is not the way to success. Just doing more, just adding one more thing. You know, we're all looking for this golden ticket, but there isn't a golden ticket. Honestly, cracking the code on business alignment is all about in here. And you can't get that from a piece of paper. You can't get that from someone telling you what to do. It has to come from inside you. But you also have to learn how to come from inside you. And that's, that's a much harder thing to do. It's like a muscle, really. You know, connecting to your inner self really is a muscle. And once you get used to doing it, then it starts to become really easy. So I can connect to myself within seconds now, but it wasn't always that way. Um... I think that when we're children, we really connect to ourselves. And you know the thing that you wanted to do when you were six or maybe seven or eight, and for me, nine, right? I decided I, what I wanted to do at nine. And we are really connected to soul at that stage because we haven't had all the stories. We haven't had to go out and earn money and get fired and have responsibility and not be able to afford to buy groceries for the weekend. All of those things that crush our little spirits and give us stories, right? So we're quite connected to soul because we haven't been taken away from that. We haven't kind of dropped down into the stories that take us away from our true purpose. And you notice when kids talk about what they want to do, that they're, they're alive, right? They're on damn fire. They're like, yeah, I'm going to be a fireman. And then pretty soon someone says, oh, well, you know, firemen don't make much money or girls can't be firemen or, you know, it's a fireman, not a firewoman. Um, and people just slowly crush their little dreams and then they go away and then they're like, yep, no, I should be an accountant. And do you know what? This, this absolutely freaking horrified me at school. My daughter come home and she said, they showed us, you know, when we talked about what we wanted to do for a career, they listed all the careers and then they listed how much money they make. That's how the kids are choosing how to pick a career, how much money they make. Does it sound like a good idea to you? <laughs> like, it doesn't sound like a bloody good idea to me. It sounds like a recipe for miserable kids that don't even want to be alive. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but it's actually one of the reasons that I coach, particularly women in, in kind of the space, because let's face it, we've been crushed a little bit, right? We give everything to our kids and then, you know, what's left at the end, we're like, um. But a lot of us, even if we don't have kids, you know, we tend to do jobs that are soul-destroying and we just, you know, we do it, we're good at, you know, that horrible saying, another dollar, another day. I fucking hate that saying. I really do. Like, there's nothing that makes me want to not live more than that saying. It's pretty revolting. And imagine feeling like that every day, you know? Like, what joy would there be in your life? So you come home and you Netflix, right? I was doing it when I was doing a job that wasn't soul aligned. I thought it was soul aligned in the beginning, but it soon became not soul aligned. And I would Netflix every night. I'd have wine every night. I'd do whatever it took to drown out those little niggles. You know, you come home and you think, oh my God, I just want to relax. But what you mean when you just want to relax, and this makes me feel like crying. Totally, I cry in this life. Um, it just makes me feel so sad that some women feel like that. And I really feel it so deeply in my heart because that's exactly how I felt. You know, I really actually didn't want to be here. I was, you know, I got up and at five o'clock and joined the five a.m. club and I did the exercise and I did all the things but I was dead on the inside and it really hurt and that's why I had to drown it out at night time with the, the Netflix and the you know the talking to friends and, and all the other things that I just really don't feel that I need in my life anymore because what I'm doing lifts me up I mean you know, I could be inside cooking dinner right now, but my husband's actually at work and my daughter's gone off to do something else. So there's no one to talk to up there anyway, right? So I'm not abandoning them. But I'd rather be working because I get to, you know, change lives. I get to bust the bullshit stories that hold people back so they too can shine in life. And this is the real reason. This is what I was saying. I don't know if you know this about me, but I actually coach because I want to make women happy so that they can show the next generation that they can be happy too. Because what they're saying right now, excuse me, that's roast really dry. What they're saying right now is that life isn't worth living. You go out and you get a job and you, you know, you earn another dollar another day and you come home and you Netflix and you whine, but you're really quite unhappy. So you yell at everyone because their room is messy. Oops, I just let out my secrets. <laughs> um... Yeah, but all jokes aside, that's a shit feeling. 
And even if you're a business owner and you're not working for someone else, you can still have that same shit feeling. You can be like, Ugh, you know. And when you have that Ugh, feeling, that's when you don't get any clients. And that's when people start the whole hustle grind thing up again. Oh, right, I need to get on the treadmill and get more clients. But they're not coming to you because the energy's not there. So the trick is, is to honestly get happy. And if the business, and most often, you know, you don't actually need to throw your business out with the bathwater. Oftentimes you can pivot your business to have an arm that really does work for you. Um, I've got several clients pivoting and, and adding new streams to it to make it more delicious at the moment. And really, that, that is the secret to getting success. And then automatically, when people do all the, the inner work, you know, do the work that needs to be done, then clients just start coming to them. And they often say, oh, you know, it's because my copy's got better or my brand's got better. No, it's because your energy got better. Honestly, you are your business and clients are attracted to your energy. That's why it's so important that your business does align to your soul. Now, if your business doesn't align to your soul and if you vibe with what I'm saying and you want to know what I'm talking about with cracking the course, um, cracking the code on business alignment, I'm only taking 10 people. I only launched it um, not even very long ago today, sometime mid-morning, and I've just signed up my first person. So that's great. And I'm only taking 10. And I mean I'm only taking 10 because this is going to be intense. It's going to be a month-long training. There's um, six training videos. There's a a banging live webinar to start it off, like absolutely life-changing webinar to start it all off. And then um, the incredible amount of bonuses. You get access to me for, for one week. Um, what else am I giving you guys? Oh, a whole lot of structure stuff, a whole lot of freebies. There's four other freebies up there. I can't read my writing over there now. It's too late at night for my little old eyes to see. But there's a whole lot in it. So there's six trainings. There's 28 days of journaling prompts to move you forward. It kicks off with a massive workshop stupidly low price if any of this stuff has been talking to you today then the only way to get into this course is to text message me on 021 137 2757 and text me yep this is talking to me i want to know more so that message again is 021 137 2757 if it's talking to you let's talk babes now go and have a fabulous night with no Netflix and no wine and really dig deep and think about what your soul actually does want. Go and have a fabulous night. Remember, together we shall rise.